Okay, so this is going to be a quick video on how to uh, incorporate other animations using the Human IK onto your current uh, Human IK rig. So this is a chameleon character, part of our video game. Uh, I'm going to be uh, opening a previous scene with uh, already keyed out animations. This is uh, another character, this is our ape character. So we have a death cycle, an idle cycle, our uh, jumping cycle, uh, running and walking, shooting. The ape character is under human, human IK and uh, we open up human IKs through window editor and human IK. So we'll remember the character is Ape Master and uh, source is the control rig. So we'll go back to our original one, which is the Chameleon. And we'll import the Ape Cycles. Um, <clears throat> so they're different sizes, but the cool thing about Human IK is it doesn't really care. Uh, in order to make these running animations work, um, we have to go to our chameleon. So you have to make sure your character is selected, and then in your source, if you imported correctly, uh, then you should just be able to go to Ape Cycles. When you do that, it'll automatically rig it up to um, to the ape and all the animations will just apply from there so that's pretty cool um, we need to know how many uh, frames were in the ape cycle I think it was like 156 all the way to the shoot yep okay so now if we want the uh, the animations to actually apply to the chameleon, we have to bake them in. So, go to your uh, edit box within the character controls, and go to bake. You have two options. You have bake to skeleton and bake to control rig. We're going to bake to control rig because we want to create an animation layer and fix any uh, some oddities in the animation in the um, in the transfer process. It's important to have the uh, the entire um, cycle the animation cycles uh, within your your uh, your I don't know, time, your timeline um, because if it's if it's at like from 1 to 60 it'll only bake the the keys from 1 to 60 so here it baked it all the way to 156 which was the the complete um, animation cycle so now what we can do is we can get rid of the ape cycles we can just highlight them and delete them and now our chameleon has all of those animations now uh... usually i would see it within the death cycle yeah you can see a little bit of jittering where he kinda like bounces up and down and it just doesn't it doesn't look fully right for this particular one we don't use the the death cycle but um... it's still good to know how to use animation layers and we'll go into that next